Hello everybody, Wild West Trailblazer here with another edition in the DIY series. Now today what I have here is the Bushcraft Buck Saw or the Do-It-Yourself Bow Saw. This is basically a bow saw replacement blade. It's the only thing I had to purchase to make this. Now you may have to buy yourself a uh, bolt and nut, wing nut preferably, easier to uh, do yourself. Now, I probably prefer a uh, straight edge for a flat screwdriver, as a lot of multi-tools have that. But, like I said, I didn't pay for this hardware, so I'll use what I got. Um, obtainium. You know, I obtained these out in the field. Uh, just some trash I picked up from an old broken tripod. I believe it was for an old telescope. Now, I actually harvested the legs from it. They were all in good condition. Figure you got yourself a nice little walking stick there. Um, you know, attach little feathers, decorate it if you want. Uh, but, you know, a snake pull, get a snake out of the trail, throw it in your backpack, something nice, compact you can take with you. Uh, so, I really love and I'm a firm believer of obtainium. And I, I try to obtain things as much as possible, you know, be creative with what I could use them for. Sometimes I don't even have an idea, and uh, I'll just pick stuff up and kind of hang on to it. So, anyways, back to the Bushcraft Buck Saw. Now, I made this before out of PVC, as suggested by Dave Canterbury. And, I don't know, I think I may have had the alignments here off slightly, because the way, it, when it would tension, it would want to twist and roll and bend my blade. Now, also... I noticed that this kind of, that the PVC, uh, it's Schedule 40, which is the thick, heavy-duty stuff, but still, it seemed like it was a little bit too lax. So I went ahead and uh, got a piece of mesquite out of the alley. Somebody had cut down a bunch of mesquite wood, and this is actually from my mulberry tree in the backyard. It's actually dying, so this is really lightweight, nice seasoned. This is a little bit green still. It's going to dry out. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crack or nothing, but uh, time will tell. I did a little whipping here, as I think this is going to be my hand grip. Just threw a little extra rope on here in case my rope at the top, and you put that under a lot of stress, it may snap over time, so I got some backup. Um, so I'm going to put this together real quick and show you what it looks like. Now I do have some video clips and stuff of the process of me trimming these down and drilling some holes and getting everything aligned. I may show, throw those in the back of the video here for you. I really don't like doing a lot of editing. I try to do a just a quick one take, um, you know, a solid video. So, sorry for the mess ups, dead silence, and whatever else that may make the video bad. So anyways, the best thing to do here, let me try to explain that to you, is you want to get a good flat edge obviously for your blade to go across, and uh, the straighter the sticks, the better it's going to be. You want to try to get everything flat and aligned, mark out your holes here, you want to go exactly 45 degrees over for your brace stick that's going to go across here. So sometimes you gotta adjust stuff, put it together, and uh, you know make adjustments on the fly. And I'm sure you know one way or the other is going to be probably better and more aligned. I've got some holes drilled here for a couple different options. I don't have any on that side, but I do have options on both sides here. So, let's get this together and I'll show you what it looks like. I got some washers here. This rope is actually the rope I was using across here, what I found was I had way too much and it was just getting in the way. So, 
rather than throw it away or throw it to the side somewhere. I figured it'd be a great backup. And also works as a good uh, hand grip right now too. Also, guys, here in the future, just to let you know, I'm going to be doing a review on the, this Leatherman side clip I have. The small screwdriver, the edge of it broke, so I'm going to be uh, using the 25-year guarantee they have with Leatherman and uh, send that back. Uh, my wife actually just downloaded and printed the return form thing for me, so later we're going to take a look at that together and see how that return works out. I know they don't offer these anymore, so most likely if they can't replace that screwdriver bit and also the knife blade has some deterioration going on, some pitting and stuff like the edge is breaking off. So hopefully they'll replace those two things and get it back to me. Otherwise I know they said if they can't, they'll replace it with a similar item. So we'll see how that works out. I'm also going to be doing a review on a Swiss Army Knife Explorer that I have. I've had this for oh, almost 20 years, I bet. My father got this for me when I was a very young boy, um, and he came back from overseas. So we'll be doing a review on this too, just to uh, let you know how it's holding up. As I, like I said, I've had it for quite a long time. Now, back to the bushcraft bow saw. So I've got my holes drilled here in the middle. Possibly could use a longer stick, but I think it'll work out alright. I need to get some new string here. I think just enough to go across there. A little extra to tie your knot. Now I'll have to go re-wax the ends. I had the ends on that string waxed. Hopefully I can get these through there. Big hole. What I may actually do is use this stick here to go across, use this as my twisting stick because this one, as you can tell, is definitely longer than that one. I'll just need to trim this edge down here a little bit so they fit in my holes and uh, I'll be good to go. But there you go. I think when I do that it will help stand open more. just need to keep twisting here and get that tight, but uh, I like what I see so far. What I had, like I said before, and the other one was my saw was bowing one way or the other. It doesn't seem to be wanting to do that. Everything's nice and straight right now, so I like what I see. I'll tighten this up some more. We'll get it outside and uh, we'll cut into some wood and see how it goes up. Thanks guys.